engineering is one of the most sought after career option for the youth who wants to make a career that's why every year nearly 1.5 million students in india graduate in engineering most of these students often face a dilemma regarding whether they should opt for ies or gate an engineering student who wants to make a career in the core technical area appears for these two exams both gate and ies are the most applauded and well known exam among the engineering students but the opportunities and avenue of these two exams are different and preparation strategy are also different for these two exams here in this session we are going to give you a deeper analysis of the ies versus gate exam so that you can get a clear idea and picturization of these two exams ies exam is conducted by union public service commission every year this exam is held annually on the other hand gate is a competitive exam which is conducted jointly by seven iits and iisc the gate exam is also conducted every year so that the aspirant get a chance to fulfill their dreams and aim both ies and gate exam give lucrative career prospects to the candidates the gate exam is ideal for those who wants to pursue higher studies like masters or phd after completion of their graduation in engineering if you score well in gate you will get a chance to admit in iits or nits or other eminent college i am also accept gate score for their fellow management programs if you have a valid gate score you will get a job in public sector like bail ntpc bp uh, bpcl hpcl etc except get a score during their selection processes on the other hand the ies exam is attended by the aspirants who wants to take a government job that is a class 1 job ies score are accepted by many government services like indian defense services indian naval armament services indian telecommunication services indian ordnance factory services and the central water engineering and central power uh, engineering services since we are analyzing ies versus gate in a detailed way you should take a look at the syllabus of both the exam both ies and gate syllabus have many resemblance which means you don't need to go for double studies ies covers the whole engineering syllabus in this the exam the aspirants are judged for their conceptual abilities since the syllabus and paper pattern is wide you need to do more hard work to crack the exam on the other hand gate syllabus covers only the important topics which are going to be useful for your higher studies in this exam the candidates are tested for their problem solving abilities so is smart work is required if you want to crack the gate exam gate is an objective exam and the time duration is 3 hours there are 65 question and total marks are 100 there are mainly four types of question asked uh, in the gate exam number 1 multiple choice question number 2 multiple selective question number 3 linked answer question number 4 numerical analysis question gate has a total of 23 papers and the candidate should choose the one which is most relevant to his stream of interest my dear on the other hand ies is the lengthy exam and is conducted over two days ies has two stages one is the preliminary stage which is objective and the second one is the conventional stage which is subjective 
there is a cutoff score for the preliminary stage and once you qualify it you are eligible for the main or the second stage after the main there is an interview session once the interview session is over they will publish the final result ies preliminary exam consists of two paper one paper is based on core engineering subject the second paper is for journal studies right it is true that no competitive exam is easy to crack but if we consider the difficulty level of both these exam then the gate exam is much tougher and critical than the ies exam you will face many difficulty and need to invest a lot of effort to solve gate question then that of ies because you need to apply multiple concept to solve a question that is asked in the gate exam so you should have a good problem solving skills if you want to crack the gate exam my dear most of the questions that are asked in the ies exam can easily be solved by using a single formula or concept every year a plethora of candidates used to appear for both these exam but the competition level for ies is much tougher than the gate exam for ies the competition ratio is term of the number of vacancies available versus the number of candidate used to appear for the exam is 1 is to 300 while on the other hand gate is a less competitive exam as compared to ies the competition ratio in terms of number of candidate qualifies versus the number of candidate used to appear for the exam in gate is what nearly 1 is to 10 so it is true that every year a good number of student score well in the gate exam in their first attempt but this is not at all true for the ies because of the wider syllabus and the exam pattern only a few can secure good rank in the ies in their first attempt most people usually qualify ies in their second or third attempt since we are discussing ies versus gate hence you should discuss the exam preparation strategy for both the exams preparation strategy are different for these two speed is the main factor if you want to crack the ies exam because in this exam you need to solve more question in less time there will be 120 question which you need to solve within 120 minute in preliminary stage this means 1 minute for each question you should have a crystal clear concept for ies as you don't get much time for thinking moreover writing practice is required as the ies exam consists of conventional paper my dear my dear student but for gate you your thought process and problem solving abilities are two main factors rather than your speed because here you will get more time to solve lesser question there are 65 questions which you need to solve in 180 minutes this means you will get 1.2.5 uh, minutes per question to solve it so don't hurry to crack it ex- gate with flying color you need to require concept application ability along with the clear concept writing test is not required for the gate exam as the as this exam doesn't have any conventional paper conventional type of paper any engineering student is eligible to appear for both the exam at present gate exam is occurred nearly 23 disciplines including streams for physics chemistry and maths graduates on the other hand the ies exam is only held for the core engineering streams like civil electrical mechanical electronics and telecommunication engineering ies has an upper age limit of 30 year in some special category it will be 35 
IES is an exam which occur in two phases. Preliminary stage phase 1 is conducted in the month of January. Main phase 2 is conducted in the month of May or June. Gate is an exam which is conducted on one day either in the month of January or February. Since the gate exam occurs before IES, your preparation is almost done for both the exam. Since gate cover nearly 70% of the IES exam syllabus, so you don't need to take much pressure for your IES once your gate exam is over. Moreover, a good gate score also boosts up your confidence level for the upcoming IES exam from the above discussion. Of IES versus GATE, hope you got ample of information regarding both the exams. Both exam embrace your embrace you with a chunk of opportunities. IES is attended by lack of candidates who have a dream to pursue a government job. While on the other hand, the GATE exam gives you an opportunity to relive your dream by getting a chance to study in IITs or IISC which you didn't fulfill in your graduate year. You can also appear for both the exam for your experience as the subjects are similar. Though the exam pattern is different, if you follow a smart and robust strategy, then you can crack both the exam with flying colors. If, if you want to achieve something exceptional in your life, then there should no ambiguity regarding your career choice based on your interest, skill, capability and proficiency. Take a wise decision and follow that.